didn't think that there was no way that I would be seeing y'all three times today on Super Bowl Sunday, as a matter of fact, too. But, hey, Ravens just, they keep it going. Uh, Calais Campbell was on NFL Network, uh, and he was on there talking with them and whatnot, giving his picks for the Super Bowl. But something that they slipped in there, and he slipped in there, is that he's coming back for a 16th season. Like, look, I, I appreciate when people... Um, if they say something, they may have a prediction for a player, or team, or whatever, and they get it right. They go back and they like, "Hey, I w- I was right about that. Uh, hey, cool, great job." But I also appreciate when people predict something about a team or a player, and they can also acknowledge when they were wrong. And with Clayus Campbell, I was wrong because I was a thousand and a half percent sure that that was a wrap for him after this season. I was for sure that he was retiring. I was for sure that it, he was done. Like, yeah, th- this was his last ride. But he said he, he getting back on board again. Now, um, will he be getting back on board with the Ravens? I mean, you know, the Ravens, like, really love Calais Campbell a lot. So I'm sure they're going to work something out with Calais Campbell. But uh, Jeff Zrebic, he said that Campbell's still under contract with the Ravens, but uh, he's carrying a $9.4 million cap hit. For the 2023 season uh, And he said you would think that the Ravens will look to lower that cap number And bring him back on an altered contract So yeah They, they, they could do that They could do that Now um, And with Calais Campbell Obviously he's up there in age He's not the same player that he used to be He can still make an impact But he's more of a rotational guy uh, At this point I, I would think Especially going into next year um, you, you don't want to overwork Calais Campbell um, and it's, just, it's the same way with Justin Houston too So I feel like it's very important That the Ravens realize And, and that the young guys realize That they gotta step up in other areas Well with other players in that particular area Of defensive end, defensive tackles and whatnot. Speaking of Justin Houston If he comes back They, they need other guys to step up As far as pass rushers you, need your, you really need your younger guys to step up Because you don't wanna just be so reliant on Older and like older, older guys like 16. Hey, that's a long time. Hey, and kudos to Galeas Campbell now. Kudos to him, but that, that's a long time. And I just I don't want Ravens to be super reliant on him to where it gets to the it gets to oh well if Calais Campbell goes down then what? And I know you got you got Travis Jones, you got Matt Abike doing his thing too. Uh, but I, I think the Ravens really like really this off season. Your focus needs to be on those young guys and doing everything that you can possibly do to have them take that next step. And it's not just all going to be from training camp and practice and all that. It's going to come from in-game reps as well. But you want to do everything in your power uh, to make sure that they can be the ones carrying the torch. Yeah, Calais could come in and light it too, but they need to be the ones that's actually carrying it. So... We'll see what happens with Calais Campbell, but uh, yeah, I was like, I'm glad Jeff Jeff pointed that out, uh, cause yeah, that 9.4 million dollar cap hit, nah, you you know that you know they ain't going for that one, man, but they you you, you know they gonna work something out, but that they ain't cutting Calais Campbell and 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 allowing him to stay out there. Like if they cut Calais Campbell, it would be to cut him and to bring him back. I just cause you know Ravens like again they got the, they got some guys where you just know. Like, they're going to do whatever it takes uh, to work it out with them, uh, especially uh, when it comes to older veteran players. And Calais Campbell is one of those guys uh, who they will. But anyway, appreciate y'all. I love y'all. And until the Ravens want to announce something else or a Ravens player want to announce something else, we'll see what happens. Oh, yeah, one last thing. Calais Campbell did reiterate that Lamar Jackson needs to stay with the Ravens. Ravens need to get it done. And, and he made a good point. He was like, hey, say, for instance, the Ravens got five first-round picks. Who who do you replace Lamar with? Who you replace him with? Cause I mean, you could you could go out and you can go out and get somebody. You could draft the quarterback. You could sign the quarterback. But you already got your guy. Like why why let that slip away? But anyway, another conversation for another day. I love y'all. Enjoy the Super Bowl. Unless I end up seeing you again before then. But we'll see. We out.